It's just been an, it's an honor. I'll, I'll just tell you, uh, it was a lot of hard work, and I know I was running against two, de you know, definitely fine candidates, uh, three, uh, including the other newcomer, Charles, and it was, and it was um, a hard effort, um, basically reaching out to folks, and I guess they believed in me, uh, calling them on the phone, uh, putting the information out, obviously through the media, and they liked what they heard. And um, we always joke around when we're standing around at the polls, does the extra waving the hands and holding the signs help? We'll never know, but we, we do it as a form of appreciation. We really do appreciate the voters that come out and vote. How much of a factor do you think it was that you, know, you not only have experience on the school committee, selectmen, finance committee, Mike said earlier, as far as town government's concerned, you probably knew more than any of the candidates. Um, I'd like to think that everyone learns different stages regardless of what position they held. Um, the thing I appreciate from a number of people, it's a few people that spoke to me is, and just what you said, I am a thoughtful person, and some people say I'm well-spoken, so I take that information in and, and produce a result that challenges, you know, challenges questions and challenges positions, and, and uh, hopefully that, can, that uh, benefits the community. I think that's the important thing. Uh, positions um, that we advance, platforms we advance, don't necessarily pass, but hopefully uh, folks believe in what we represent and um, a lot of the stuff that we want to get accomplished does get done. This was, you know, the toughest election I've been through. You know, it was also, you know, one of the harder field of candidates, but also, you know, there was a lot of influences in this election that, you know, were, you know, hard to overcome. I mean, I'm really glad the voters trusted me, but I know that there was a a group out there that was upset about the masks and you know as the chairman I was the face of you know making kids wear masks at school so I think that impacted me I know there's some union issues going on so I think that you know there was a campaign against the union so I think when to even come in second it was great because I think it overcame people saw the results that we had and you know with 816 a small voting block actually has a lot of power were you surprised that you did not get the endorsement of uh, what is it North Attleboro Federation of Teachers Absolutely not. I was not surprised. Um, it was a stranger process for in their endorsement. I didn't exactly agree with the way they went at it. So, you know, it's something that we'll have to reconcile. But, you know, I think personally, I don't think they should be involved in local politics because, you know, some of the things they're looking for is raises from these committee members. And as we only bargain at the table, we don't bargain through the media, we don't bargain through endorsements. So it's something that, you know, we need to have a real discussion about. Have you seen the last of Charles Dobre running for office here in North Definitely Africa? not. I would say that definitely not. I mean, some people might not like it, but I'm here for the long run. You know, some people, I was reading some comments, they say, well, he's been in town for years, but he never was involved in politics. Why now? All of a sudden, he doesn't know much about politics, but it takes one day to know someone. It takes practice to be better at something. So whoever is talking, I'm sure they had to start somewhere, right? Sure. So we all starting somewhere. This is a baby step. And for baby step, I had 223 votes. So I'll push on. Education, Our Lady of Africa on the Ivory Coast. Yes, Did sir. You ever imagine you'd be running for office in North Attleboro, Massachusetts, and on cable TV? <laughs> well, I'd this is... Answering questions about politics. Yes, sir. You see, this is the blessing of the American dream. You can come from X, Y, and Z, regardless of the continent, come here, do what's right, and you can have a shot. And I did, 223 votes, like I mentioned, you know, it's not two votes. Okay, so it's good for someone who, I mean, I wasn't born here. Most of the people, I mean, maybe not Mr. David Shee, but most of the candidate are townies. Okay, either went to school here, I, was, I didn't go to school here. That's a big advantage in North Attleboro. Yeah, so, <laughs> so definitely, I'm not part of the close circle, but, you know, I can make my marks.